Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to BD Mumpo. I hope you are all okay. We are okay. Today we are making brownies. So we have chocolate brownie mix, which can be found in any major retailer, but we bought it from Lidl. We have two eggs for two packets, one cup of melted butter, two teaspoons of sugar, and if you need it, a half cup of water. Okay, so first, what you want to get is our two eggs. Then, next, what you want to do is get your butter and pour it all into the uh, bowl. Then, get two teaspoons of sugar. and then wix that all together until it's nice and smooth. Okay, so now it's been mixed, what you want to do is add your brownie mix. and then just mix that all together. And because it's quite hard to mix right now, you need to add milk. Okay, so I've added the rest of our milk, which is half a glass, and now I'm mixing. Okay, so now my whisking is finished, and now you have to put it into your pan. Uh, we've already preheated the oven at 180 degrees, and now we need to pour it in. Um, and on our pan, we've already put baking paper greased with butter. Okay, now we've poured all of our brownie mac batter in so now you just you try to even it out okay so now it's time to put it in the oven uh, for timing maybe 30 40 minutes 30 40 minutes 25 minutes Okay, so now our brownies are right about finished. It's been around 25 minutes since we put it in the oven, and now we're gonna take them out. Okay, 
Okay, so as you can see, our brownies are finished. But the way you can test if the brownies are finished is if you can dip a knife into them and no residue or chocolate comes out. So, let's try it. And as you can see, there's nothing at all in the brownies uh, on the knife. Uh, we're not going to cut our brownies right now because the brownies are way too hot. So we're going to cut them around 10-15 minutes after. Okay, so it's been around uh, 10 minutes. And now we're going to try and get the brownies onto a plate. So. And you can see it's going to be really crispy. Okay, so now our brownies are done and we're going to see how soft it is. As you can see, it's super soft and we're going to see how it tastes. It's really yummy and um, if you try this recipe, I think you'll love it too.